All right, oh, let's, in fact, let's talk about tethered shooting while I'm here. Tethered shooting is, is really nice. It provides you with a couple of benefits. Uh, first of all, if you have a card in your camera and you're tethered to your computer, then your images are getting captured in two places. They're getting written, written to the card, and then they're getting sent into the computer. Also, images show up on the computer as you take them, which is really nice for your, if you have an audience. Mostly, if you're photographing children and the parents are there, and mom, is, mom keeps talking to the kids, which we tell them, leave them alone. Uh, but, but the combination of having a preset with the white balance and the color saturation all set, they get to see images that are pretty near to a finished image, uh, other than some minor retouching, come right up. So let me just reset everything here on my tethered shooting so that we can do this, because there's another really cool thing you can do that we started doing in studio, and people love it. In fact, I think, Bethany, I think you like it too with the iPad. I did. So let me just uh, take a quick shot. Okay. Lovely. If you would hold the camera again. The other piece that I really like to do, do you have the uh, remote -y thingy? Thanks. The other thing that I really like to do is include an iPad into the shooting. And what I use is a utility called Air Display. And let me bring that up here. And what Air Display allows you to do is to use your iPad uh, as a second monitor. And what ends up happening is, in, in Lightroom, in fact, Jen, if you would show my Lightroom screen again a second. If you take a look down here in the lower left-hand corner of Lightroom, there is a thing for a second monitor. And I can turn that on here. And let me just come up to my utilities, and you can see I've got um, my air display. Let me just turn on air display on my iPad. So let me just wait for it to show up. And you see there my screen just kind of went blue on me here. Hold on a second. It's connecting. All right, so let me zoom back out. And let me turn off mirroring, because I don't want it, I don't want the, if you can see here, Rick, actually, if you'll zoom into my iPad. Jen, go back to the uh, video screen a second. So you can see, I'm actually seeing my Lightroom screen mirrored here. And what I want to do is go into my control panel and turn off mirroring. So now my iPad is just a second display. Just go to arrangement, and turn off mirror displays. And then, as it resets, my iPad becomes just a loop view. In fact, I can put it next to my computer here. You can see it's just a loop view of what's going on. So as I shoot, the new images will show up on the iPad. And I can hand this to a parent or someone else that's in studio, or if you're doing commercial work, an art director, and they can watch the images as they, they show up. In fact, here, let me give you that. You can actually, this would be interesting. We can have you pointing that down like that. So we can see Bethany holding the iPad. She looks like she's doing Apple commercials. I take another shot of that. And of course, the iPad brightness got overpowered by the strobes. Uh, but you can see the image start to show up on the computer. Jen, if you'd actually show in Lightroom, you can see there's the image with her holding the iPad. And she gets to see it also uh, as it pops up on the screen. So it really is a wow moment for folks when they see this. Here, I'll give you the computer ba uh, camera back a second. So let me go back to my uh, questions for a second here. Uh, also, I mentioned tools like the jerk stopper and the computer table from Tether Tools go a long way towards protecting your computer. And the combination of that and using an iPad as a second display allows the clients to see the images that they captured. And as I mentioned, it's a great way to keep parents out of the way. But involved. But involved, yes. They feel they're involved, but they're out of the way.